So I'm currently in the Broadway Gardens, just south of the town centre. And an area of the town like this with its glorious fountain really accentuates what this whole project was about. A century prior, Britain was at the forefront of industrialising and the rest of the Western world and many parts of East Asia were jumping on the bandwagon of this industrialization. But it came with costs, the main one being the utterly horrid conditions in the slums near the factories where the working classes would live, particularly in our biggest cities such as London and Manchester. They were infamous for being horrendous. Now, many rightfully so were horrified at this. Specifically, one Ebenezer Howard who wrote a book called To Ivan Morrow, A Peaceful Path to Real Reform, which set out the plan of having what he considered a garden city. And it was meant to be bringing the best together of urban cities and the rural countryside. Because whilst the urban cities, especially the poor parts, were rife with disease, crime, dysfunction, cramped conditions beyond belief, the countryside had a lot of dysfunction as well. But he saw benefits in both the countryside, you have much cleaner air and less pollution, the city, you've got all your amenities within close proximity. And he wanted to create a city within the trees. Very similar to what Jock Campbell hoped to do 50 years afterwards with Milton Keynes. The main difference was the car had only just been invented and only like five people in the whole UK had one. So they still had to scale this place for walking. So you do get these great big gardens that aren't blocked off by a massive highway. There's traffic around, but you can only just hear it. There was still a much bigger influence on walking and cycling. So they built these tree-lined avenues, but with only one lane for the road, as it was still such a newfangled invention. And also, this may be a personal opinion, but the houses are pretty. I mean, granted, these look to be some of the wealthier houses, but it was built before, in my opinion, architecture died with 50s brutalism. And here it is in all its glory. Built in 1909, Britain's first roundabout. Still looks like it could have been built yesterday. It's been kept brilliantly. But yeah, I did some, I, I did all of like one minute's research. First in Britain, first with the invention of the car, not necessarily the first in the world, not even lots of crescents and circular junctions and whatnot beforehand. I guess this was the first in the world that morphed into what we see as a roundabout today. Anyway, still quite a neat thing to see. So looking at these buildings here, you can, if you can see them, you can see it's sort of a mesh of from the 1890s to the 1910s and 20s and the 40s. 